the style of cock is about a certain kind of minimalism. So there's, no, there's no set, there's no props, there's no miming of anything. It's all about the words and the acting, and hopefully the audience will come along with us on that journey. It is these young, brilliant actors in a space going for it whole hog, and it's very exciting to watch. Uh, another characteristic that's shared by a lot of Mike Bartlett plays has to do with competition. Uh, Mike, when he uses metaphors to describe good theater and to describe life, most of those metaphors have to do with sports, with gaming, with competition in one way or another. Who's ahead? Who's winning? How do they score points? How are they taking advantage of their opponent? Um, <clears throat> who's leading the charge? What's the attack? Um, and it makes for a, like a delightfully dark uh, experience in the theater. Um, and it hits on some issues that I think are very uh, current and it hits on them in a way that is not the way that they're normally discussed and doesn't feel rote or didactic, but curious. And what I think is so great about the writing and about what Mike Bartlett's done is that he does speak about these things in such an intelligent way, but also in, su in a way that is so populist, in a way that anybody can relate to and anybody can get really sort of viscerally engaged in the issues that he's talking about. This is one of those plays that can be surprisingly recognizable for its audience. Um, there's something that has to do with competition when it comes to the arena of sex and love that can be familiar and sometimes painfully familiar. Uh, and there's something about coming to moments in our lives when it's just difficult to work out who the hell we are and who we want to be. The play is sort of boy gets boy, boy loses boy, boy gets girl, boy gets boy and girl, boy and girl fight over boy, boy chooses blank. Um, it's, so it, it is a play about shifting sexual identity, but more than that, it's a play about identity confusion in general, about situations when we find ourselves in places when it's very difficult to figure out and to choose who we are and who we want to be. And that's what I kind of love about this play is it takes stereotypes that have been become different stereotypes and just kind of blown the whole thing out of the water, mm -hmm. you know. We, we kind of live in this day and age where we have the, the Facebook and the Instagram and the Twitter and the you're on a dating website and you check all these boxes off, like this is what I am, this is what I like, this is, you know. And he just kind of takes that and just like, you know, just blows it all out of the water. Yeah. Um, and I think it makes people kind of think in a different way, you know. Mm -hmm. The language of the piece, the subject matter, if we're doing our job right, you'll leave the theater not in a mild discussion. You'll, be, you'll have really conflicting opinions and be talking about this for quite a while. It's, uh, it's a very exciting piece.